sir, 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 our best people, our best people on this case. We, we are our best people right here. This is it. This is us. Well, sir, <laughs> that's not entirely true. Is this really necessary? Mr. Chairman, I believe you can uh, remove that apparatus now. Who are you? I'll be asking the questions here. Where are we? Where is everyone? That's on a uh, need to know basis. Am I in trouble here? Or what in the world is going on? Sir, my colleague here is a certified team leader specializing in, uh... I'm a fixer. He's a fixer. A uh, fixer? I fix things. He fixes things. You fix things? Kobayashi Maru. Oh. Mr. Chairman, this classified meeting is to inform you of all the resources at our disposal to deal with the ongoing ramifications about the actions of certain individuals in our organization. Yes, yes, yes. The cruise? Now you're catching on. So what in the world happened? Sir, we have found it best if Certain details remain uh, anonymous. You're here to meet the team, and quite frankly, I don't think you're showing the gratitude to these brave souls who risked everything to save your bacon. Who does this guy think he is? You come into my house and disrespect me? No, 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 I disrespect you. Now, when I was five, no, no, Four years old, we had a horse, and uh, this wasn't the same horse that ran out in the road and got hit by a truck. No, it's a different horse. And I was in the front yard, and the horse is in the yard, and I'm standing on the picnic table. Now, what I didn't know is the picnic table had a loose board on it. Oh, my. Let me tell you something, Tony Schiavone. Hot Stuff Heath Holyfield is here to take care of business and whoo, look good while I'm doing it. That's right. So when I said our best people are on the case, these are the fine upstanding civil servants I was referring to. And they forget about it. And I just happened to be standing on that loose board and mind you, I'm petting the horse. So the horse gets spooked. I don't know if it was a, a snake. I'm scared of snake. I don't know what it was. The horse raises up, hits a board. I turn three flips in the air and I land on my lip on a dog bone in the yard. True story. Blood everywhere. My mom and my grandmother, they get me inside. I remember I'm laying on the couch. Like my daddy used to say, he who laughs last, laughs best. So, ha ha, brother. Mission accomplished. I have so many questions right now. Where do these people come from? Where is everyone else? For a man who claims innocence, you sure do ask a lot of questions. Mr. Chairman, certain scenarios in your life call for certain skills and abilities that are spread about various uh, personalities and, and features here. Yes, yes. None of this seems real at all. It seems very, very fake to me. Brother, is it fake when you get hit with a steel chair and you're in that steel cage and you're spilling your blood and you're spilling your sweat and you're spilling your tears and you're on the road and you don't know what day it is? Because that's the price. 
champions are willing to pay. And brother, that ain't fake at all. So I'm fake to you? I'm an imaginary friend sent here to amuse you? To make you laugh? Fake how? Tell me how I'm fake. Blood everywhere. Crying like a baby. I'm only four years old. I ain't even met Mickey Mouse yet. I'm just a kid. And I'm bleeding. Does this scar look fake to you? I had a standalone mustache all through the 90s. And somehow still managed to get a woman to marry me. So I'm sitting there, and anyway, ever since then, I had this scar. At least that's what I remember. We probably already said too much. They're always listening. Mr. Chairman, the completion of this arduous task has been both total and absolute. I still don't even know what happened or what y'all are even talking about. That's right, because I'm good at my job. Nah, nah, nah. I don't know nothing about that. And like I said, that was a different horse. Now the next year, I was five, and that was the first time I went to Florida. We went to St. Augustine. I drank, I drank from the fountain of youth. It was glorious, except I remember it just tasted like regular water. And at the end of the day, there's winners and there's losers and rising above it all are champions like me. And there's nothing you can do about it because I'm Hot Stuff Heath Holyfield and you're not. And then we got to Disney World. And now back in my day, in the 1900s, there weren't 27 Mickey Mouses there to make sure every kid got a photo op. No, no, no. There was one Mickey Mouse and you had to find it. And you had to be where he was or you didn't get a picture. And I remember it like it was yesterday. If I'm lying, I'm dying. We're walking through the castle. Well, I believe our business is concluded here. That's right. We were never here. This never happened. I don't know which castle. What the, What am I supposed to know? We're walking through the castle. And out come a side door. Out comes, who do you know? It's Mickey Mouse. And my mother says, because I'm five years old, she says, we've been waiting five years for this. And right there, I got my picture made with Mickey Mouse. And Mickey Mouse did not notice this scar. No, no, no. But he said, he said to me, Mickey Mouse says to me, he did, he did. He says to me, this kid, this kid's going somewhere. And here we are. Here we are. Well, that's it. I can finally accept it. I'm absolutely 100% crazy. <laughs> crazy like a fox.